Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got the how to make daily rewards video and stuff. Um, I did a poll on this. Well, by the time this video come uh came, by the time this video comes out, probably like two weeks after the poll and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So I did a poll on it and stuff. You guys said you want daily reward. It's a simple, simple mechanic that's in a lot of games, honestly, like RPG games and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just. I got y'all, you know, this is probably going to be part one because I'm going to assume that people want like, you know, where you have like a UI that says, um, you know, maybe like you do a UI where it's like claim your daily rewards and stuff. The way I'm doing it is just simply whenever you join the game, it's going to automatically check. And then if you and then if you haven't claimed the rewards, it'll give you the rewards. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. OK, <clears throat> first things first, let's go ahead and insert a server script into the server script service. We're going to rename set script daily rewards uh script right then we can delete print hello world we need to create we only need to make one variable outside the function so we need to create a data store for the daily rewards so let's say local daily rewards data store is equal to game get service data store service then on the outside you do get data store quotation marks then you could just really copy and paste the name of the variable so control c control v Boom. Now to now to actually enable data stores, you have to go to game settings at the top. You have to go to permissions. Oh, sorry, not permissions. Uh, sorry, sorry, security. Yeah, and then you want to enable Studio Access to API services. Make sure you click save, and everything's all good, right? Then once you've done that, because we need to make sure you know it's saved and stuff, because obviously you don't want people to claim rewards, leave the game, then come back, and then you know they haven't claimed it stuff. So this video, I'll also be showing you guys how to like you know like. Uh, keep track of time in a sense well in a sense not like going in depth but like just generally how to use like os to you know get the date right i'll be explaining that so we're gonna do we're gonna set up the function so game dot players dot player added connect function in parentheses put plr show for player and enter and stuff this function will run every time a player joins the game right so we're gonna create a last day claimed for, uh value so let's say local last day Claim pretty self-explanatory. It'll be an it's gonna be a number value, and we're gonna update the value every time a player claims reward. So it's equal to instance that new equation marks put number value parent this to the player, then enter. You're gonna say last day claim dot name is equal to equation marks last day claimed right. Then you're gonna say last day claimed by default is gonna be equal to zero right. Because say if there's like the player's first time playing the game, then it would just be zero right. Then we're going to uh create. I actually didn't make this the first time, but I was just like, well, I probably should add this to like actually, you know, demonstrate the whole reward thing, right? So I'm gonna um create like I guess cash, yeah, like a cash value. So we could, actually we could just copy and paste this. So you could just Control C, Control V, right, and then just rename this to like cash. So I can show you guys an example. So Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, right, and stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys how um like we're just gonna add. We're gonna give the player an actual reward, so you guys can see how it works, right? So then we're going to set up the player's key. I recommend using the player's user ID. So I'm gonna say local key is equal to player dot user ID. Then we're gonna retrieve data if they have any. We're gonna say local data is equal to daily rewards data store. Get a sync. Then throw the key in there. You're gonna say if data you know if they have any data then you're gonna say last day claimed a value is equal to data regular bracket one because it'll be the first value saved and then you can say, you can also have your cash so cash that value is equal to data two well because so we'll just save cash might as well just save it i guess right and then of course it's essential saving the saving the last day the player claimed because then players could just you know abuse it and keep redeeming daily rewards even though they hasn't passed right so um i actually forgot to wrap this in a uh on a protected call we're going to wrap this in a protected call because this anything involving data saving we're going to wrap in a call a protected call to ensure that it works and if it fails you keep retrying until it works so you're going to say local success comma error message is equal to pcal function right close parentheses enter then you're just going to copy and paste this you're just going to copy uh, and paste this part so control c you all the space control v boom right then we're going to create a variable we're going to say um Actually, we, no, we can really create this on the outside, not the inside. We create this on the outside, so I don't have to make two variables. So I'm going to say local current date, right? This is how we retrieve the current date, right? So you do OS, right? This is how you, you see, type of, and then you use time, right? This is how you do, you know, time, date, whatnot, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do OS dot, you know, date, of course. 
Now it gets a little, it's a little tricky because this it isn't it isn't just gonna give it to you. It's just not gonna spit it up right out to you. Pause. But what we have to do is we have to uh, put the percentage symbol or sorry quotation mark because it's a string. So percentage symbol because you can format in different ways. Now in all honest now honestly this is my first ever time using this type of formatting with the I never understood the whole percentage thing. So don't ask me to explain it. But all I know is. Um, to get it like how I plan to use it in the video where it gives you the day out of the year, you do percentage, then lowercase j, right? That's what you would do. Now, what it's going to give me is it's going to give me the day out of the year. Now, I want to explain what this means, right? So, I know most of you are probably thinking it's going to give me the actual day of the month, right? Like how, if you look in the bottom right of my screen, you see it's the 28th of February, right? It's not going to say 228 24 or the 20 or 228 or 28 and stuff it's gonna say uh hold on let me do the math real quick 31 59 yeah it's gonna say 59 right the way it works is it counts from the beginning of the year to whatever day you're on so it's gonna combine the you know the first month so january those 31 days in january with the current day of february so 28 so 31 plus 28 59 i know you're a little slow so you probably gonna do the math but it's okay so it's 31 28 59 right so obviously you know when we get to april it's going to be a combination of january february and then however and then you know march all of march and then however many days you're into april and stuff it's going to give you that right so obviously like later in the year the number is going to be in the hundreds and stuff right so that's how the number that's what the number is going to give us but it doesn't really matter as we're as like we're just comparing the numbers you don't need the exact like you know we don't have to convert it now if you want to convert it you could do that yourself but anyway the issue is that this is going to give us a string right we need a number because we're trying to compare we need to compare we need to see if it's greater than so we're going to wrap it in a two number so you're just going to say two number and then you can just copy and paste this so control c control v you're just going to wrap it inside right and then we're going to go and then we are going to go um, back inside of the protect call, and we're going to say uh, if current date is greater than um, last day claimed that value and stuff. So pretty much today's the today according you know like according to Roblox's OS date. It's it's the fifty eight or actually no, it's the 59th day of the year, right? So if I claimed my rewards today, and then I log back in tomorrow, which tomorrow would be the sixtieth day of the year, right? It would note it would see that that day is greater like tomorrow is greater than yesterday i mean yeah tomorrow was greater than today so i would then get my reward if that makes sense i don't think that's honestly confusing so i'd hope everyone understands but yeah so enter the news of course you're going to update the value last day claim that value is equal to current date right and then you would create a data table because we're also going to save it here so i'm going to say i didn't because i saw i didn't really see a need to like add a i didn't really see a need to add a function to where like add a function that saves when you leave i don't really see a point you usually do that to prevent like too much like trying to save too much like too much data at one point but then it's like if you can only redeem the, the reward once then it's like there's not really there's not really a point you know what i'm saying because like servers have like 20 30 people even if like 20 people join at the same time which is kind of unlikely and stuff like it would all move pretty quickly in my opinion but anyway we're going to set up a table so local data table is equal to special brackets right and then we're going to insert the value. We're going to say table dot insert that uh, that a table comma. Then you're going to say last day claimed dot value right. And then you're going to say daily rewards data store set a sync. I actually forgot something. We're going to throw in our key and then the data table. I actually forgot to also save cache. So we can just control C, control C, control V, and then right. And then you're going to you want to save cache too. But that's optional. I'm just doing it generally as a demonstration for you guys, so you guys can just generally see how it works, right? And then we are going to go on the outside of this and click the arrow up here. The space in between, you're going to say while not success, enter because that's the thing about trying to save data. It can give you errors. So you're going to need to ensure, or not ensure that it doesn't give you errors, just ensure you have measures in place to, so that it'll keep trying. So we're going to add a test that weight because you know you have to have a test out. You have to have a weight or a test that weight because you know it's a while loop. So you don't want it to crash against the game or anything. And then we're simply just going to copy and paste all the stuff we already had. So just control C, all of that, control C, control V. And boom, just like that, guys, we are, we are done. Like, <laughs> that's all you got to do. As always, if you guys want access to any of my scripts and models, you guys can become either a channel member or a Discord uh, subscriber. Link to either one of those options can be found in the description. Let's go ahead and test this. The only thing, uh, hold on, actually. Uh, let me do. Um, okay, let me do it like this, actually.
I'm going to change. The, I'm going to put this number here simply because I already tested it before with, with that thing, that data store. So it's probably already saved. So if I join the game, right? And I just kind of realized something. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So you guys see how it updated, right? Because if the, because you, you guys see how it changed, right? I had no data before, but the value was set to zero by default, but now it's set to 59. Because like I said, today's the 59th day of the year. I actually forgot to mention like the way I wanted to do it was um I forgot. So the way I want to do it like this, right? You know when you have a reward, you would do like, you know, cash. I mean you like cash dot value is plus equal twenty. You would get, you know, you get like twenty cash, twenty gems, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some XP, I don't know. And so right, so you would just do that and then you would get the reward. And obviously of course you would, you know, go down here and include that right there too, right? So yeah, you would just add that if that's what you wanted to do and stuff like that. I can definitely make a part two where I show you guys how to do a UI where like you click like a button and stuff to um yeah where like you click a button to you know receive your daily rewards or any other type of way you want it and stuff. Just leave a comment down below and I got y'all with a part two and stuff like that. But yeah, so the video lots of love. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.